Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, bringing you another high-definition screencast for YouTube.com slash LockerGnome and LockerGnome.com. You might have seen Chris earlier this month take a brief look at the Facebook client from Microsoft on its Silverlight platform. And I decided I really liked it, so I'm going to be giving you guys a more in-depth look at what is known as the Microsoft Silverlight 4 beta client for Facebook. So finding this application is actually relatively simple. You can visit any major search engine and search Facebook Silverlight, and it will bring you to a dedicated page for downloading the Silverlight 4 beta. If you already have this beta, it will take you to a page to download the Facebook client itself. Once you get there, all you have to do is accept the license terms and install, and it's almost instantaneously installed on your Silverlight enabled machine. The interface of the application, as Chris mentioned, is, well, it's just plain beautiful. Obviously the actual Facebook.com doesn't look like this with glowing buttons down the side and nice beautiful looking category filters. It just looks way better than the actual Facebook experience and if you're someone who likes using Facebook a lot, you'll definitely enjoy this application. Up at the top there are some more category filters here as we sort by people and where we can view just what people have posted and not necessarily other pages. This is what really separates this application from the rest is that you can really interface nicely with your Facebook without getting too distracted but really getting pretty much all the data you would ever need to know. Something else worth noting is that this application is actually quite quick. If you haven't already noticed by my navigation between page to page, this application is actually quite snappy in comparison to a lot of Adobe Air applications. Now this application actually also makes a heavy use of all your Facebook photos, friends and yourself. So if you're a big Facebook photos kind of person, you're definitely going to like this feature. Now, being that this is Facebook, it's kind of hard for me to show you guys everything, but I think you get the point as I scroll through these blurred out photos here, that this is very heavily integrated with your Facebook photo albums. Also, not surprisingly, Microsoft has inbuilt some features for integration with your Facebook calendars, should you actually use Facebook to stay organized. And what Facebook application is complete without the ability to simply comment and like posts, just like you can on the regular Facebook.com. So that's just the gist of it, guys. And if you'd like more information to find more and possibly even take a look at and try to use this Facebook application, you can visit the link in the description or actually visit the URL I'm showing on the screen right now. That'll take you directly to the page. So thanks for watching this high-definition tutorial. And if you'd like more of my content, you can visit YouTube.com slash Marcus Brownlee. And until next time, Thank you for watching. Peace.